But even as Liesmer and his colleagues were publicly promoting recycling, privately, the industry had long expressed doubt it was ever going to happen on a broad scale. One internal document from the Society of the Plastics Industry cautioned, the techniques of cleaning and separating the mixed plastics has not been developed for large-scale economic application. Another said, there are no effective market mechanisms for mixed plastic. And this document was candid. There is serious doubt widespread plastic recycling can ever be made viable on an economic basis. How could they go into all of these communities and tell people you just have to recycle when they knew there were so many problems and so many hurdles? Some were very skeptical yeah. but felt they had to do it. I think others were, were more hopeful. Uh, there was never an enthusiastic belief that uh, recycling was ultimately going to work in a significant way. Freeman's boss at the time, Larry Thomas, the head of the Society of the Plastics Industry, was blunt about it. I was a front man for the plastics industry, no getting around it. Thomas wouldn't sit down for an on-camera interview, but agreed to talk on the phone. If the public thinks the recycling is working, then they're not going to be as concerned about the environment. I think they knew that the infrastructure wasn't there to really have recycling amount to a whole lot. Thomas wrote a confidential memo in 1989 about the precarious position the industry was in. The image of plastics among consumers is deteriorating at an alarmingly fast pace, it says. We're approaching a point of no return. Business is being lost. Analysts are beginning to take notice. We must immediately undertake a major program of unprecedented proportions to reverse this fast-moving tidal wave of growing negative public perception. So the big plastic producers came up with a multi-million dollar solution. When you look at plastic, advertising, how it helps things stay fresh and safe and light. It spent most of its money millions and millions of dollars on advertising. Plastic also saves energy. To tout the virtues of plastics as a way of heading off the criticism the industry was experiencing. When we started that advertising program, I think the image of plastics was in the mid-30s. So, you know, 30, 35 percent favorability. That's pretty low. If you're in politics, you're in deep trouble uh, with a 35 percent rating. Presenting the possibilities of plastics. plastics. When they were running the advertising on television, they were not about how plastics can be recycled, but all the wonderful things that plastics bring to us. Plastics make it possible. The fact that you now don't have to worry about dropping a shampoo bottle that was made out of glass on the bathroom floor because it's plastic. And there's nothing wrong in an industry promoting those kinds of things, but that's not addressing the problem that people are criticizing you about. And it worked? And it worked. Hmm. Because you went from 30% favorability. Yeah, in, 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 from, let's say, mid-30s to mid-60s. Favorability. Mm-hmm. 